This is my box of stuff that I use for making calls. And I just found my recipe. It's I did it right. One part uh, shellac, or two parts shellac, one part boiled and seed oil. So I got that right. And this is the place that I get all my, or used to get all my call making stuff from. All predator calls. They have all the reeds and all the material to do it. And this is how they list their reeds. I can't see if you can read that or not. Um, it gives you an idea of what the sounds the reeds are going to make. And I have all the reeds right here. This is the first call I ever made. It is out of Coca-Bola. I just like that wood. It's so pretty. Here's one that I made that broke. This came apart. I could glue it back together, but I just never did. The ends are black wood. The middle looks like it's quilted maple, and then it's got a thin slice of uh, red padoque in there. I got another one right here that I glued up. That's what it looked like when I started. These are your reed sleeves. <clears throat> I put the lanyard on there. The reed sleeve goes in here. I may have to drill that out a little bigger. And then you pick out the reed voice you want. And then you can tune it a little bit. I'll show you how to do that. so much stuff in here, I'm not exactly sure what all I got. It's been a while since I've been in this box. Hard Arkansas stone. There's a nice stone hid away in there. Let me uh, get this figured out and I'll be right back. Okay, you need a little bit of epoxy. I just happen to have some JB Weld laying here, so we'll get that on there. Like I said, this is the reed holder. When you buy a bunch of reeds and stuff, they'll give you these little tools use that to push push it into the call clean that off of there Good. Make sure this is clean. Clean off my little stick. This is a piece of glass I was trying to cut. Get that cleaned off a little bit. Okay, now we get to shake it up. Just use a little piece of Q-tip. We'll put a little of that finish on the inside of the call. Protect that.
now. We'll just let this all dry. Can you see it in there? And we'll work on a read for it. This is kind of a chunky call, but it, I imagine it's a softer wood because it's a uh, or less dense I should say because it's that burl so it should give kind of a mellow sound and the way you hold it is like this or like this and you can work your hand I'll get back with you when it sets up okay I picked out a supposed to be a medium volume cottontail reed I don't want to blast them out of the county with real loud volume you take the end it's got this flat side on it put the flat side against the reed push it in there so now it's got the reed down in there let's see what it sounds like You can adjust that, push that out, you push it out from the other end with the round end of the stick. You can take one of these razor blades, slip it between the reed and the body, slide it in there, and then you, you, what you want to do is, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, is just kind of hold it there so it's straight and then twist the razor blade a little bit and it'll bring that reed up off of this side just a little bit and it adds a little bit of raspiness to it can you hear the difference in that that sounds like that'll work Let's take it out and uh, give it a shot one of these days when, when fox season comes in. I really want to get a coyote. I've never shot a coyote. I want to have a nice coyote skin hanging on the wall. Well, that's it. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. I never accomplished building open reed calls. They're a little more difficult. I was uh, just starting to get into the process of learning when I changed jobs and ran out of time. I don't know what I need all these punches in here for. But this was my call making box. Seems like I buy tackle boxes to use to keep everything organized. Oops. Well, I hope you enjoyed it, and maybe we can go out and call a fox in one of these days. Thanks for watching.